Supernatural word for the day. It is lifting time. Now today is Thursday, the 10th of February, 2022. And the man of God, Apostle Dennis Amos Semojong, has a special message for you and for me. And I just love the theme. Oh, this is why I love the supernatural word of the day. We have a right to choose. Set the right to choose. That is our theme for today. Now we're reading from Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verses 19. The Bible says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. That I have said before you, life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life. Oh, I choose life. That both you and your seed may live. Now the apostle of this great commission continues to enlighten us that the right to choose is one of the three fundamental rights we have in Christ. A new creation is not a programmed robot. But each Christian has a right to choose. Say, I have a right to choose. We may choose between life and death. However, an unbeliever is already destined for death by virtue of being an unbeliever. That is to say, having made the wrong choice, this isn't the case for a Christian who has made the most important right choice, that is of believing Jesus Christ. Say, so I am a believer. I believe in Jesus Christ. Now that's say daily. The right to choose is continually placed on our hands. So we have this right. It is placed in our hands. Apostle Paul at one point was in a dilemma as to whether to go to heaven or continue fast with the earthly ministry. That was the right choice there. When Jesus met a man who had been at the pool of healing for 38 years, he gave him the right to choose his destiny. He asked him, that is, if you read John chapter 5 and verse 6, Jesus asked the man, do you want to be made well? When he answered in affirmative, healing was his instantly. And the man of God, the apostle of this great commission, Apostle Amos, continues to enlighten us. That in that John chapter 1 and verses 2 tells us about the will of God for us. The Bible says, beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. Whereas God wants us to prosper and be in good health, he has reserved the right to us to choose how we appropriate this reality. As you make the choices, remember always by the aid of the Holy Spirit to choose life every day, choosing the will of God. Say, I choose life. I choose the will of God. Thank you, Father, for your word. I am blessed by the word of God. Now let's go to the meditation scripture for the day. We have Philippians chapter 1, from verses 21 to 24. The Bible says, for me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. But if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet what I shall choose, I know not. For I am in a strait between two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. Say a right to choose. Now we're going to make this prophetic declaration. Just rise up. And also remember we have a one-year Bible study plan. We have Exodus chapter 19 to 20 and Mark chapter 10. Let's just make this prophetic declaration together. Say, blessed God, who has deposited in me the power. Oh, Sandy Legeradosha, just bless the name of the Lord. Say, blessed be God, who has deposited in me the power to make wise right and perfect decisions in line with his divine destiny for my life 
The word is my all-time kind. And Christ has been made unto me wisdom. Therefore, I make only godly and spirit-guided decisions in Jesus' name. Amen. I choose life. I choose the word of God. I choose the leading of the Holy Spirit. I'm led by the Spirit of God. Thank you, Father, for your word. 